one group of people who was particularly worried about immigrants is immigrants. I mean, immigrants come to this country, first, second generation, and they're thinking, bloody hell, do we, people are coming in a lot quicker than I thought. You want to, there's that feeling of sort of wanting to close the door. Um, uh, that's always been the case as well. I mean, my great grandparents would have would, were immigrants, I think, <laughs> um, but but and they were often the most worried about more immigrants coming in because they know what it is and they know those concerns. I think you're absolutely right. It's a, it's I can see your anger and your passion because you're, you're being called something which, as I say, is is an, not just unattractive but an abhorrent thing to be called in today's age, and it's just utterly not true. What about? Um, you know, Tommy Robinson, he is now the bogeyman, isn't he? He's like Voldemort. I don't know if you know Harry Potter, but he's the Voldemort. He's the the bad guy. Uh, to what extent, I mean, is he really pulling the strings for huge far-right movements from his sun lounger in wherever he is? He has a large following on social media. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. So clearly his words and his thoughts are consumed by a considerable number of people. Mm -hmm. um, he is a damaged brand, of course, because he has criminal convictions and that kind of stuff. But many people are now kind of looking at him as some kind of de facto freedom fighter for free speech and such like. Um, in a similar kind of way that so many people look towards Nigel Farage and 4.1 million people voted for the Reform Party um, at the last general election. What I would really like to see, and, and I, I absolutely mean this from the bottom of my heart, is I would like to see less two-party politics, less deliberately sown division by politicians. And they deliberately sow division because they divide and conquer. And look what a two-party, first-past-the-post electoral system does in the UK. It merely perpetuates that. What I would love to see from somewhere is a nation builder. Hmm. Somebody who wants to build a nation, somebody who does not have baggage, convictions, a backstory that can be ripped asunder. And, you know, you know how the, the, the media, certain sections of the media do. But a real, true nation builder who loves the Muslim man who runs the curry house yeah. as much as he loves the Ugandan Asian who got booted out by Idi Amin and has run the local news agent for the last 45 years as much as he loves the French guy that runs that wonderful bistro down the road as much as he loves his Jewish friend mm. who I don't know, he goes on a podcast with, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. yeah. You were worried about saying a stereotype for the Jewish friend. And on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and on and on and on. Yeah. And a nation builder who so loves the nation that they will not allow unfettered immigration to continue. They will be courageous enough to stand up and say, actually, I want to protect the people of this great nation because it is still a wonderful nation, mm. but there are so many concerns that law-abiding, decent, tax-paying, right-minded people who raise brilliant kids have that is being shut down. There is so much division being sown there we are we are being drawn apart when i know that so many people for example that will go on a pro-palestine march i bet i could sit down with every single person from that march and have a very civil conversation where we express concerns about the state of our public services for example mm. our hospitals our education our roads our policing I bet we'd have so much in common, 
so much in common about all those kind of things. Mm. But that person you described, apart from the beginning about the backstory, does fit Tommy Robinson, I think. Because I thought for years, and I think so many people thought this, that he was just an out-and-out -out racist, that he was a proud racist, far-right and all this stuff. And I started looking it up because I wanted to interview him at some point, which I haven't yet done. But I thought, I have to have some stuff where I can push back and go, come on, mate. You shouldn't have said this and that. And I couldn't really find much. And people who are watching this, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, show me some stuff, some links where he really said something that is um, attacking someone for their immutable features, you know, the skin color, ethnicity, that, that kind of thing, instead of for their beliefs. I couldn't find a single thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, so I, I don't know anymore. And when someone like that has been made out to be the evil guy, and of course he shouldn't have been getting into the scraps he got into. I think that's probably, that's the big issue there, isn't it? And some of yeah. his associates, people he's associated with. Yeah, and he has criminal convictions. Well, yeah, know, I think we punched a, didn't he punch a Nazi? Someone said earlier, no, that I, might I, be, I, I might I, be miss, miss whatever. I don't, I don't have whatever convictions really? he's got. And of course, I think he's currently held in, excuse me, I think he's currently held in contempt of the High Court. I might be wrong on that front. But, you know, there, there is baggage. Yeah. That, that, he will simply never be able to shift. No. Um, and and I so want uh, a nation builder, an idol, a unifier. Would Farage not lay claim to that? Well, perhaps if we had proportional representation at a next general election... But, of course, no Turk is going to vote for Christmas, are they? So that won't get through this government, Yeah, you know, not in a month of Sundays. This is an issue because to um, become prime minister, you've got to do... Because I had a sort of joking conversation with my wife the other week where I said, you know what, I should be prime minister. And she said, yeah, but you don't want to do all the boring bits before. You've got to... It's not like a president. You know, a president can just go, you know you know what, I'm going to do this thing. Yeah. You've got to go and be the MP of such and such, a local council. You've got to do all this stuff, work for yeah. decades. By the time you get to the yeah. point where you're prime minister, you've been so affected by this cultish ideology of groupthink that you're never going to come in and really do something interesting. The Westminster bubble. Yeah. I spend a lot of my time in green rooms, in and around studios that are not very far from Westminster. And so I spend time with former special advisors, for mm. example, none of whom I find to be very special and none of whom I would take advice from, I hasten to add. And it does kind of fascinate me as to why politicians would have even have countenanced that, but... There you go. That whole Westminster bubble, that echo chamber type thing. And I've met people that are so unworldly, so unworldly, politicians, and they haven't got a clue about what's out there, hmm. what, what everyday people are going through, about their concerns, about travelling on public transport, for example, and being in fear of your own safety yeah. and the such like, and, and, and other issues that go on and on and on. They have no idea or comprehension of it. They just fall into that political kind of pathway, get into that Westminster bubble in a very similar way to how senior police officers operate within an echo chamber where all they ever hear is what they want to hear as opposed to what they should really be mm -hmm. hearing because, of course, the organisation doesn't want dissenting views and alternative ideas put forward. So, yeah, senior police, politicians and all of that, they're in bubbles, they're in echo chambers and they really, really could do with coming out onto the streets of Britain and getting some proper experience far away from the media gaze far away from the pre-rehearsed or pre-organized kind of meetings with unelected community leaders and all that kind of nonsense when they just get fed by people with an agenda they well, just want to come out and see what is really going on